Breaking tonight, there are increasing calls for the resignation of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo after a third woman has accused him of sexual harassment. State Democrats are also getting closer to taking away some of Cuomo's powers. Correspondent Brian Yenis has been following this from Brooklyn, continues tonight. Good evening, Brian. Good evening, Brett. Tonight, New York's Democratic-controlled state legislature announced it will repeal Governor Andrew Cuomo's emergency pandemic powers, which have given him extraordinary authority over New York's COVID-19 response. It's the latest sign Democrats are beginning to revolt against one of their leaders. Anna Ruck provided this photo to the New York Times. Both Ruck and the Times say it captures the moment at a September 2019 wedding when Governor Andrew Cuomo put his hands on her face. The 33-year-old says Cuomo then asked if he could kiss her. Ruck says she was confused, shocked, and embarrassed. Fox News has not independently confirmed this information, and we've reached out to Ruck and Cuomo's office. Ruck is now the third woman to accuse Governor Cuomo of sexual harassment in the last week. Now, at least 13 Democratic New York state lawmakers and the New York Working Families Party, a progressive party in the state, are calling for Cuomo's resignation. New York Congresswoman Kathleen Rice tweeting, the time has come, the governor must resign. Six New York socialist legislators are taking it a step further, calling for Cuomo's impeachment. Governor Cuomo has repeatedly abused his powers and yet has faced no accountability. And as Attorney General Letitia James conducts an independent investigation, New York City's Democratic mayor drew a line in the sand. If these allegations are true, he cannot govern. While Democratic Majority Leader Senator Chuck Schumer refused to say if Cuomo should resign. These women have to be listened to. Now there's a investigation in the hands of a very, very capable person, the Attorney General of New York State. I supported it and called for it. Other normally outspoken top Democratic women, like Vice President Kamala Harris, have not said a word about Cuomo's troubles. I can certainly speak on behalf of the president and the vice president. And so let me reiterate that uh, they both believe that every woman coming forward should be heard. Today marked the one-year anniversary since Governor Cuomo's first famous Emmy Award-winning COVID-19 briefings. The facts defeat fear because the re reality is reassuring. It is deep breath time. The briefings propelled Cuomo into a media darling, making appearances on CNN with his brother, anchor Chris Cuomo. Was it this that or was it right. this? Tell people the truth. Come on, love that go. Is not right. Come on, which was? This it? is not love. This is not love. A year later, a starkly different tone. Obviously, I'm aware of what's going on with my brother. And obviously, I cannot cover it because he is my brother. CNN says the early months of the pandemic were extraordinary times, so they made a one-time exception to the rule, barring Chris from interviewing his brother because of its, quote, significant human interest. Brett. Might have been more than one time. All right, Brian, thank you.